Imagine a medical emergency suddenly takes away what you love most, changing the way you see the world and yourself. That's just what happened to Chicago artist Minnie Watkins. But as our Joe Donlin tells us, Minnie turned a stroke into triumph. She's one of Chicago's hidden gems. Do you remember the date? Yes, it was uh, June 25th. 2020. What do you remember about it? I remember um, finishing my brother's ob obituary because I had to stroke two days before his funeral. Chicago artist Minnie Watkins' world is divided into two parts, before and after the stroke that changed her life and her work. And did you catch that date? June of 2020, just as COVID-19 was erupting. So your brother had just died. Yes. You're in the middle of a pandemic and this happens. Absolutely. Minnie spent nearly six weeks at Stroger Hospital, isolated except for her caregivers and the sounds of pandemic despair. What was the scariest part of that, Minnie? Hearing cold blues like, like it was regular music playing all the time. After Stroger, it was rehab at Schwab Rehabilitation and a big decision. After the stroke, I just needed to paint. I needed to feel, feel like I was an artist again. But picking up that brush wasn't easy. Minnie's brain had changed. If I didn't know what to do. And I was trying to figure it out of something I've done for 30 years. For decades, Minnie was known for her portraits, but now faces didn't look the same to her. So I had to retrain myself to see and how to, to see what I saw in my head and put it on, on the canvas. So Minnie found a new direction when a friend told her to paint what she knew, stroke and recovery. Is this the new Minnie? Yes, this was after the stroke. On these pieces, I'm finding my voice. Look at these paintings and you'll get a picture of Minnie's struggle. Abstract lines of confusion, crossed boundaries, images of a brain in flux. You'll see the chains in the barbed wire and the fence and the bars and the brick and all those things that confine you. In left brain, right brain, the two sides of Minnie's brain battle each other. you see very definite shapes, circles, diamonds, lines, those things are very rigid, they're, they're literal. But the, the right side of that piece is full of color and you see running pain and free flowing forms. Minnie's hoping her recent exhibit at Sinai Health spoke loudly and clearly. It featured 27 works of art, all depicting her journey and her determination. Loss to loneliness to, I'm guessing, sadness. I, I, I knew I was gonna come out because I had a piece the whole time about it. I, was no, I wasn't afraid um, and I refused to, I made a choice not to take on fear. I just, I just made that choice. And she says she's better for it all. My art has expanded, it has become broader. I'm not in a box anymore. It's a God-given talent and I want to make a difference with what God gave me. To see more of Minnie's work, you can log on to our website, cbschicago.com. Beautiful before and after.